Hello, welcome back friends. Welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, this is an experimental and unique video that we are going to share this time to incorporate chat GPT in uh, the day-to-day -day life problem solving from life sciences. So if this chat GPT is going to be the future because this is something which is in the consideration of utilizing in the academic context. So can we use it in the academic context and what uh, it has to offer us uh, regarding asking questions regarding different topics and subjects. So we'll see that with the help of this demonstration. So basically I just uh, typed in one question and the reply I got uh, is kind of surprising. So I wanted to share my reactions as well as I wanted to learn uh, what ChatGPT can do uh, and what to come. So uh, what we will do here is that uh, we'll try ChatGPT from our end. I've already created an account in OpenAI and uh, I'll try to show you exactly mm -hmm. what we are going to get uh, and uh, I'll type in few qu few questions and also few problems I want to know whether chat GPT can answer that properly or not so the question can be uh, direct scientific questions uh, the questions can be a uh, little bit analytical as well so we'll, we'll see both and we'll try to see what chat GPT has to offer to us so this is something that I'd written uh, for the first time here what is floral meristem and chat GPT returned us with an answer so let's let's try something else here let's try something else what is uh, the light reaction of photosynthesis Okay, so let's uh, ask this question to ChatGPT. What is the light reaction of photosynthesis? And let's see what ChatGPT has to offer to us. And as you can see, it's writing the light reaction of photosynthesis, the first stage of photosynthesis that involves the absorption of light by chlorophyll and other pigments, leading to production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and NAD. NADPH. This stage uh, takes place in the thylakoid membrane of chloroplast, is driven by photons from sunlight which are absorbed by photosynthetic pigments and used to generate a flow of electrons this flow of electron drives the synthesis of atp and nadph which are used as energy source in the second stage of photosynthesis the dark reaction also known as the kelvin cycle the light reaction is a crucial step in photosynthesis as it provides the energy required for the synthesis of organic compounds from carbon dioxide and water and i am blown away because not only this uh, answers my question but also it answers it with really good detail it's not like just a one or two line answer it's a really good detailed answer now what i wanted to understand is that uh, whether this particular segment they, they're scrapping it from the web uh, so what is the plagiarism for that so let's check although i have a fully fledged version of plagiarism checker which i don't have installed in this system so i just use small seo tools uh, version of it which is not that good but i think it will uh, work uh, to understand the basics in here so I just put it in and i'll check the plagiarism for that okay so it's processing let's see uh, what result we get as a plagiarism report i want to know whether the report that they provide the answer chat gpt provided us is unique or is plagiarized Oh, you see that this is saying it's the 100% unique and 0% plagiarized. So as per this answer, this is not plagiarized answer. So basically, if somebody asks you a question, you can put it in the chat GPT and you can get an answer to it. And that is 100% unique as per small SEO tools. And I believe it's 10 to 15% off from the real version. So uh, I can still assume 85%, 90% correct. So that's a straightforward uh, question. Okay, let me ask you. Ask chat GPT one more thing. Uh, it's related to some information, uh, something related to information. Uh, what is the biggest tiger reserve in India? So let's see. The biggest tiger reserve in India is the Okay, Nagarjuna Sagar Tiger Reserve, let me also check that and it's not only stopping by just stating the uh, name of the reserve, it also states uh, the details. It's located state of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana covers area approximately 3566 square kilometers. So the answer is provided based on the overall area uh, that is preserved is one of the largest protected areas of the tigers in India and so many, so many more things. Actually, I can say that the chat GPT is a little bit chatty, uh, but uh, let's see whether the details are correct or not 
let's let's find it here so actually we are toggling between google and chat gpt basically uh the year recognized by project tigers in 1983 is a, has been renamed as the rajiv gandhi wildlife sanctuary in 1992 uh it is breathtaking scenery and all uh so it is the largest tiger reserve in india actually you can see in wikipedia is written that this is the largest tiger reserve in india based on the square kilometer area so they are scrapping this information from that but it does that quite efficiently fine good uh okay what is the ph of 1 mhcl so let's let's try to do something like this it is scientific it is more scientific what is the ph of 1 mol hcl see again uh, you can see uh, if i type it in in the google you can see it's drawing answers from the actually top searches how they are actually creating and they are recreating the same thing in here i believe but little bit of change in the format that uh, they are providing it so that it don't get plagiarized but ultimately it's taking uh, the information from that part okay a little more complicated problem here again from another ph calculation problem i don't know whether it can uh, spit out the right answer so it's a ph of solution 0.36 m hcl 0.62 NaOH and one zero point one five m HNO three for three separate idea for three separate uh, conditions three separate calculations must be drawn. Let's find it out. So it's tight. It's kind of typing in on the whole uh, situation here. from hcl from naoh 0.51 from hcl 0.62 from naoh correct uh, because if we consider the way it's representing the the answers it's really really commendable and because this is the correct answer it's uh, i'm blown away again with uh, the answer provided by chat gpt here so enough of this chemistry problems let's uh, move to something else let's move to some let's say uh, i don't know whether it can understand uh, any of the all right so enough with the chemical uh, chemistry problems now let's move on to some of the biology problems let's give it uh, with a hardy weinberg problem okay uh, so i'll question i type in this question is very common question we solve all the time so let's find it out whether it can correctly find out the frequency stating lot of theory but uh, it's not come to the math part yet one by yes it's it's getting it okay it stated that cannot be determined which is wrong we can determine this so this is not the right uh, answer so <clears throat> for this continuous four five questions i found one question which it prescribed wrong answer for. but if i ask general questions you know uh, is evolution purpose driven question like this uh, it answers beautifully it answers quite illustratively and also uh, the answer is kind of human like so so yeah <clears throat> in many contexts it's good and obviously we know it's under development it's being developed and something that need to be developed almost every single month Uh, every single day uh, in order to make it perfect but still it's a, it's a leaps uh, and bounds ahead of what we had till now in the search engines like google uh, but this time it's offering something which is more interactive and if you want to understand something learn something you put it in the question format direct question format like that you put it in and it will spit out the answer and that way you can interact it's something like you're interacting with someone and getting the information out of it so that's a very good and very handy tool i believe it's going to be an handy tool for the students i've seen that uh, universities are banning it or other places are banning it there are reasons for that but i believe 
if you ban it during the examination that's fine but apart from that you can utilize it as a very good positive tool for your own improvement so everything comes with a you know uh, a drawback so it also has multiple drawbacks it will have multiple drawback but at the end moment it helps you to exceed so we'll discuss about whether it's going to add a benefit or it's going to take away the human factor away from the study we'll do that in, an, in a separate video but for now what i can say is that this app this this whole process works quite good quite sufficiently so again as i asked is evolution purpose driven it stated the straight cut answer no evolution is not purpose driven which is the correct answer the evolution is a natural process occurs as a result of genetic changes and accumulation over generations in population of organi uh, organisms so and, and the more important thing is that the way they construct this uh, the sentences are are great and plagiarism free so that is very important but again as i said that the students may use it for cheating uh, to do homework and all so that's something that the school and university should be uh, you know concerned about but other than that if you're preparing for your competitive examination i think it is going to work like a, your private tutor which is going to stay with you while you solve problems all right so uh, okay what what else what else what is this let's let's try to find out what it thinks about us so what is homo's biology let's write it out okay okay stating some information homo's biology a popular online education platform provides resources and information on subject of biology is name after creator shomu okay it's wrong it's not banerjee it's bhattacharji so my title is provided wrong who is a biology teacher and educator shomus biology provides range of resources including video lessons quiz and study materials who have students about various topics biology including subjects like genetics evolution ecology and more platform is designed to be accessible and engaging for students of all levels and is widely used by students teachers and self learners as a supplement to their traditional biology education okay so rest is fine but my title mentioned was wrong okay it's fine uh, let's uh, try to find out what is csir net life science syllabus so let's ask uh, the csir net life science syllabus and let's see what they are asking uh, it is repeated us with the, the answer okay cell biology genetics so actually uh, the syllabus it's mentioning is not based on units but yes cell biology genetics evolution developmental biology all the other topics are there so now i understand how chat gpt is writing you know although it's mentioning all the different units but it's not in the numbering that it's putting correctly because probably it's scrapping it from the internet resource and trying to rearrange in order to get rid of the plagiarism that's why it's doing this but overall uh, these units and these topics are kind of present in csir net syllabus Mm -hmm. and there are some uh, informations which are misleading like the exact syllabus uh, may vary slightly from year to year and candidate should result consult the official net so yes candidate should consult official net website for the syllabus but that's not the right thing that in every single uh, year it changes not the correct thing so it's not entirely correct but yes for this time frame what it provides is astonishing right so just really really something <laughs> to worry about and something to really think about you know to decide like what uh, we are doing and where we are going exactly with it so there are good and bad things we'll discuss it later but i tried it and i'm blown away okay so that's it for today i'll see you in the next video about another interesting topic thank you bye